Um, it's very early on Wednesday morning. We woke up uh, just before 6 a.m. and are on our way to, to check this out here before the workday starts. Um, looks like this just really neat kind of little village that's been built into the side of the mountain with the river running through it. Um, so we're going to go check it out and we'll show you what we find. These houses that are kind of built into the, the cliff suspended over the river. Um, some of these go back to 1630s, um, which is pretty incredible that this architecture existed over 400 years ago. And apparently they were built to be able to actually store fish from the river in the basement. So kind of like a live, uh, I guess like live fish that you could just go down and grab your dinner. And just a really cool spot here in Recorder National Park. So we are driving through Vercour a regional park. Uh, France is divided up into several different regions. Uh, and each region has their own kind of large parks. So you can kind of think of them almost like as you know, state parks in the US. Um, and we are in the Vercour Regional Park in the um, kind of area just outside of Grenoble. And driving through it, it is just a beautiful mix of mountains and trees and foliage. And you know, there's different sections where you really, you feel like you're driving through the mountain. Um, so we put the GoPro on the top of the car with a suction cup mount, and we're gonna show you some of the highlights of the drive here. share with you some of the lowlights of living digital nomad life. Um, so we've been at this Airbnb for about two days. We worked here yesterday um, and while the apartment has some things that definitely make it a little bit better for working remotely, it's got fiber internet which has been a huge uh, win, an actual table which we can use, we don't have to use our own. Uh, there's definitely some drawbacks. So one is that the apartment smells like somebody's cat was in here uh, and used it as the litter box before we got here. So that's a, a drawback. Um, and the second drawback is that we have a surprise power outage. Apparently in this building, they've decided to do some maintenance work and there's gonna be rolling power outages from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., which the host did not tell us about, even though we told them we were working from the Airbnb. So that's been a fun surprise and uh, we're gonna have to figure out how to work with that, but hopefully we can make it work with hotspots and with laptop batteries charged up. But thought we'd share with you just some of the downsides of the digital nomad life and the unpredictability that comes with working on the road. Fun times. Good evening. Uh, so we are on our way to a part of Grenoble that we haven't been to yet, sort of <laughs> most of the city we haven't been to yet because we've been working. Um, during the days and our neighborhood is it's okay <laughs> it's nothing to write home about it's it's just kind of industrial but um we're headed to something called the Bastille so it's I think it's an old battery um and 
It's an old fort. Yeah. Hundreds of years old that's up on the top of the hill looking over Grenoble. Supposedly it's the number one thing that people see when they come to Grenoble. So we're cheating. A lot of people will hike up it, but given our limited amount of daylight, we're going to cheat and drive up and see what it's like up there. Yeah, we're honing in at 8 p.m. So probably not a great idea to walk up there. Tonight. Quick trip. Yeah. not meant for a Volvo-sized car. Grenoble area we've noticed these signs for Noix de Grenoble which is um, basically nuts of Grenoble so we looked into it um, and similar to how sh uh, the, the champagne from the Champagne region of France is protected um, it's what's called an AOP um, which is basically a protected uh, region where um, only um, only produce uh, produced in that region can, can bear that name. It's the same for the Noix de Grenoble, which um, we did a little bit of research into, and is actually a type of walnut that is known for um, sort of its purity and its um, high quality. And actually, these trees were brought over originally by the Romans, and it says that they were they were taken very good care of because the walnuts back then were actually used to pay rent and such things like that. So pretty cool history, and um, there's just tons of these orchards of walnut trees behind us on our way to our little village and it's, it's quite beautiful it's very pretty so yeah we'll have to stop and try some at some point <laughs> 